Take one vial of standard from the kit and centrifuge at 6000-10000 RPM for 30 seconds. Dissolve in 1 milliliter sample diluent and aim the pipette tip at the bottom of the vial and pipette repeatedly for 5 times to aid dissolution. Mix well to obtain standard F7, which is to be placed for standby. Take 7 1.5 milliliters centrifuge tubes S0, S6 in sequence and add 250 ml of sample diluent each. Aspirate 250 ml of standard S7 into the first centrifuge tube and pipette and mix gently. Aspirate 250 ml from S6 into the second EP tube S5 and mix gently. And so on for standard ratio dilution. S0 is the sample diluent. Dilute the concentrated wash buffer at a 125 ratio with deionized water. For example, use a graduated cylinder to measure 240 milliliters of deionized water, pour it into a beaker or other clean container. Then measure 10 milliliters of concentrated wash buffer, add it evenly, mix well, and prepare it properly before use. Salt may precipitate from the concentrated wash buffer when stored at low temperatures. It can be heated in a water bath to aid dissolution during dilution. Dilute the biotinylated antibody solution 1 colon 100 with biotinylated antibody diluent. For example, mix 10 ml of biotinylated antibody with 990 ml of biotinylated antibody diluent gently and prepare within 10 minutes before use. Dilute horseradish peroxidase labeled avidin 1 colon 100 with horseradish peroxidase labeled avidin diluent. For example, mix 10 ml horseradish peroxidase labeled avidin with 990 ml horseradish peroxidase labeled avidin diluent gently and prepare within 10 minutes before use.